الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد قال سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه الكريم ولا عصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر I wanted to talk about the importance of where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in that ayat. First, let's translate the meaning. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal asr, He swears by the time, subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Verily, mankind is in a loss, except those who have faith. Illa ladhina amanu, wa amanu salihat, and they do righteous deeds. Wa tawasu bil haq, and they call to the truth. Wa tawasu bil sabr, and they practice patience. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا So he first, he subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُسْرَ All of mankind is in a loss. All of mankind is in a loss. إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Except those who believe. And those who believe, أَيُّوَ الْأَحَبَّ Meaning, those who have Iman Billah وَالْمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُوبِهِ وَرَسُولِهِ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ وَتُؤْمِنُوا وَيُؤْمِنُوا بِقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِّ That those people who believe إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا are those people who have faith in Allah. They believe in Allah. They believe in His His Lordship that is the creator of the heavens and earth. They believe in his divine names and attributes. And they believe in worshiping and directing all their worship to Allah, to Barak wa Ta'ala alone. And they believe in the angels that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends angels to do different tasks and they're all obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they believe in the books that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent with the messengers alayhim after salatu wasalam. Like the, what we refer to as the Bible, the original text that was, was sent to Jesus alayhi salatu, alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Torah which was sent to Moses alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Psalm of David alayhi salatu wasalam. The Suhuf of Ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam. And the Quran, which was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the believer believes in all of those things. That's all a part of Iman. Warrusulihi, and belief in the messengers, alayhim after salatu wasalam. And belief in the day of judgment. Yom Al-Qiyamah, that we're all going to be held account for what we did in this life, how we practiced. Did we believe or not? Because we had the choice. Did we practice what we believe or not? And we'll be called to account for our actions and how we interacted with one another, how we treated one another. And may Allah forgive us of all of our shortcomings. I mean, it'll be a lot of me. And also what comprises faith as is mentioned in the hadith and comes under those who believe those who believe in the divine destiny that Allah created everything from his divine wisdom and he wrote it down he decreed everything everything is in accordance with his divine will subhanahu wa ta'ala and Everything is within his infinite knowledge, subhanahu wa ta'ala. That comprises the qadr and the levels of the qadr. All of this comes under those who have faith. So Allah negated success for all of mankind, illa alladheena amanu, except those who have faith. Those who believe in those pillars that we discussed. Those who practice the five pillars of Islam.
That's Iman. Iman is a condition for success in this life as well as the hereafter. According to our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala, not according to our own whims, not according to how much we have in the bank, how much we've saved, how many buildings we own, what our position is in society or, or throughout the world, our world position. You could be the person who lives under a bridge, who's homeless, and have the highest status with your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because of Iman. Because you believed in Allah. And you believed in His angels, and you believed in the books, and you believed in the messengers. And you believed in the Day of Judgment. And you believed in the Divine Destiny, the good and the evil of it. So be of Ahli Iman. Be of those who have faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And have strong Iman. And may Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala bless us with Iman. Bless us with Ikhlas. With Thabat ala Sunnah. Bless us to be of the se successful ones. Bless us to be of the Mu'mineen. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many sins. As the Prophet sallallahu said, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayin atawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes or they commit sins. And the best of those who sin is those who repent to Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, may Allah bless us to be of the tawabin wa mutatahirin. And those people who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of all that we've done. Anything I said that was correct is from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself, from the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Yeah.